Okay, today we're going to review um, the Homestead Website Builder. And at first review, at first glance, um, what I see here is what looks like a stupendous website builder. And this is all from their home page that they have your pricing tiers, they have a video which I've watched and it makes you really see that their tools should be super easy to use and they've got a nice little one two three approach here you get a feel for what the inside you know when you get into the admin what it looks like so just at first glance without going any further um, into the site than just right here on the home page I feel pretty hopeful about this website builder so the first question is can you work with one of their templates with if you're you know a hairstylist or a dog groomer or a car repair shop so any industry or do they have you know specific industries that they cater to and really based on what we see here it says that there's 250,000 professional website templates specifically designed for your business so it sounds like they might have some templates that appeal to particular businesses because they even say that they come with um, uh, images and relevant text so it sounds like if you wanted to just cookie cutter it and head out the door with what they've got you could but based on what they're saying make it your own here customize your website with your company logo and product photos you probably could take any design you wanted from here and make it your own for any industry so the thing that I like is that they um, have a design templates page and on this page they show you some of the samples 27 to be exact now when you go to these you know it just it gives you a, a thumbnail and these are um, I do question what is this exactly but they have um, they're a little it looks like they're skewed a little in proportion so I wouldn't be thrown off by what looks like slightly off you know it looks like it's a aspect ratio is a tiny bit off in the thumbnail which is no big deal that's just the way it's displaying here so don't let that throw you and over here they have customer sites which is really cool you know you can see okay people actually did things with them but if you try to click on the customer site it doesn't go to the actual site so I wish that they let you because you know like I had to look up the cruisy site myself to figure out you know like to actually look at it and see what was really happening with it because this doesn't tell you a whole lot and by the way this is actually a pretty nice site so so there's this really important thing called pricing that we all want to know about before we sign on for the account because we kind of want to know if what we're getting into is something we can afford and Homestead does offer you an idea of your pricing right here on the home page which is very very nice you got your $4.99 a month, $19.99 a month, $59.99 a month and um, you can try it for free and if you look down here it'll tell you that you get a 30 day free trial period now why would I opt into anything more than $4.99 a month well here it says um, I get a free domain and personalized email and everything you need to grow your business online so I get some idea of what's going on but folks I gotta tell you if they're not gonna give you a pricing like really you know a breakdown of the different features you might want to contact them run something you know away <laughs> because um, you really need to know what you're in for and in this case you know if you aren't planning on marketing um, through for search engines um, then you're fine but if you are thinking uh, that you're going to actually like market your business online hopefully driving in traffic through search engines or hopefully adding content to your site you kinda need to have more than five pages and I had to research because on here they just they don't have do you see a link here for pricing no and if you click try it free today as I did it doesn't give you like here here's you know try it free or here or here it doesn't do that these do not like select the right package to fit your business needs doesn't take you to a packages page anything like that um, down here I typically go down below to find out if um, there's a pricing 
page somewhere. There's not. Everybody, there's not. So I researched homestead pricing and I did find, um, I think the one that I looked at was, oh, these are, are these the exact same thing? Okay, so this is design services because they will design your site for you. And here's the deal. Why am I talking about five pages? Because if you just do this $4.99 thing, you only get, according to this page, and I have every reason to believe that it's pretty accurate, you know, I mean, because it's got the correct pricing up here, it does link to their home page, it's got their logo, so I think I'm at the right place, and this is all I've got to go off of. Um, here, you know, you get five pages, and where does it say that? It says it somewhere on here. Really, it does. Number of pages, five. And that's a biggie. Five pages. That's not a lot. You don't get to blog with that. Now, here you get up to 100 pages, which is great. Um, if you get really serious about what you're doing, you're going to need to have unlimited pages. So that alone means that if it were me helping you, I would tell you you have to do the $20 a month thing just so you know. Now with it you get your domain and your email too which is nice because you're gonna need those things but really just keep in mind you're really looking at a minimum of twenty dollars a month with the Homestead website builder. And by the way Homestead please put your pricing packages readily available somewhere on your site so I don't have to search for them again and complain about it for like a minute and a half and waste everybody's time, right? Let's change that. Good. So the next question is, are these sites mobile friendly? Right? You know, I'm always looking at that. And they are, they will load on a phone. And the one I tested, the customer site that I tested, um, behaved fine, but it's not responsive, meaning it doesn't change depending on the dimensions of the browser it's being loaded in, and it doesn't load a mobile specific version of the site. So if that's important to you, um, and for various reasons I can argue why it should be and why it may not matter. Um, you're not apparently going to get that here. Now maybe they're working on it, maybe it's a feature somewhere, I don't know because guess what, they don't mention it on their features page, like they just, you know, breeze on over that one and really don't bring it up. I mean, I'm going to look one more time while I'm here, but I have spent some time digging around and yep, see, it's just not there. So. If that is something that you care about, it's not here, and so you want to just keep on going and looking at the next website builder review because um, it it they don't it, it appears to not be a feature that they currently have. The next thing I look at is search engine optimization capabilities. Does the website builder have them? And in the um, features here. I don't see anything mentioned about entering your own search engine optimization information, your own meta tags, your own meta title, and um, that's a pretty big deal. So what I did is, even though they don't mention it here, um, I looked at their sample site, you know, or a customer sample site, you know, the one I've been looking at throughout this review, and it appears that they have custom meta information. So the next question then is, who put that in there? Was it the customer as they were building their site? Um, could a $4.99 a month customer be able to do this if that's the case or is it one where you have to pay for the higher end packages? Um, is it an auto generated uh, uh, you know, meta information you know, thing by Homestead um, themselves, their website builder? I don't know. Um, those things matter but it appears that there is meta information being put into the customer, the Homestead website builder or customer site. Um, they do have a, some sort of analytics feature, stats feature. What I don't know is if you can put your own um, Google Analytics code into the, um, the website itself. So um, that's a bit of a bummer because I get, I'm a big fan of using a third party analytics reader or information gatherer because I want to know what's happening on my site. I want to know how many people are coming. I want to know um, what terms they're using, that sort of thing. But I also want to be able to take that information and import it into um, higher end tools like maybe a Salesforce or something if my business really takes off. I want to be able to take that information 
and have it if I switch website providers, which is a really big deal. Lots of people in the course of their business are going to switch from, say, say they're on Homestead, and then maybe one day they go to GoDaddy, and maybe another year they end up with a totally different host. So those are all different environments. You really want to be able to take your website statistics with you and not start all over again. So if it's just Homestead's website statistics that you have an option to use, that's a bit of a letdown. And right now I have every reason to believe that that is the only choice that, the, that they are providing because it doesn't say anything otherwise. So how easy to use does this tool appear to be? Well, um, the nice part is that it has a it has a screenshot up here, um, one of them anyway, that shows what it looks like inside the website builder tool and it looks pretty darn simple. Um, and then, oh, we've switched to, I, I actually didn't go to the home page, I went to create a website. And so here they're showing you uh, choose a design, customize it, and show the world, which is really nice. But on their home page they have something even nicer. And that would be this tool, or sorry, this video down here. And if you watch it, it's only a minute or so long, and it really shows you what's going on inside the tool. So um, I think it looks you know super easy to use. Um, my overall impression of the Homestead Website Builder it, tool is that it, it probably is going to be a good user experience inside working to build a simple website. Um, my largest concern is that I don't know that I can put a third-party tracking uh, code in here and um, or snippet um, that can matter in the long run like if you're a new business and you're just trying things out you're not sure where you're gonna go that may not matter you know you do the five or the four ninety nine five dollar a month um, plan you try things out for a little bit before you get serious okay fine I really believe in starting out from the foundation of okay look in the long run I really do want to know where my stat, you know, where my customers are coming from. I really want that data. I want the flexibility to be able to change from Homestead to somewhere else for, you know, and so I'd like to take that data with me in, in a, the most um, highest quality possible. So like, sure, you could probably use their stats package and you might be a Homesteads and you might be able to export it at a, a later time to another tool like analytics or whatever. But usually when you export data from one source into another source, it degrades if you can even do it. So you might lose that data and that's a bummer, <laughs> you know, because I do look back. I do look back to see what's gone on and especially if you're, okay, um, we're going to try a different website building tool or we're going to try some different website uh, or, or some different marketing campaigns and we want to know, hey, we tried this before and, and now we want to compare and it could have been two years ago. How, what kind of, did we get a spike in visits, etc. So that old information I think is really important. And I think it should be super easy to look at all the way through your business um, life cycle. So even in the beginning, you know, you want to make sure you have really robust data. And I, I really am a big uh, fan of Google Analytics. So I don't like that in here that it doesn't mention that you can do that. Um, it's also not the least expensive one. $20 a month isn't the end of the world, but it is an investment. And, and that's really where I think most businesses are going to end up is at that $20 a month level. Um, so that could be a deterrent for some people. Anyway, I think it's a pretty decent tool. Um, you know, I don't know if it's going to make it on my next level of evaluations of these website builders, but it's certainly, um, I don't think, I think, I think it's certainly got some possibilities there. Just from a marketing standpoint, I have those concerns regarding the data. And, um, and so, you know, it looks like a good foundation for a beginning business and um, and I'm very I'm very happy with how their home page is so yeah I would encourage people to use it um, and uh, we'll see here if it makes it into the next round of, of my evaluation